how is it going guys so in this video we're going to be showing you how to install truvdb 1.1 and then we're going to install one of the packs and walk you through the installation process of that too so from blender market you should see depending on the version that you've got everyone should see uh, that there is a zip file called truvdb 1.1 um, this is the installation for the add-on once you've downloaded that um, wherever you've saved that file we're going to go to open blender we're going to do it in the user preferences so we'll just head to edit preferences head to the add-on section and then we're going to click install then wherever you've saved it we're just going to grab that zip file and click install add-on this should pre-populate and then you'll see the true bdb add-on here we're just going to enable that by clicking this button and uh from there, you'll be able to see all of these options that have appeared. So the first thing we want to do is import a pack. So everyone should have the base install pack, and this should be four files. Um, I believe three of them are around 1.5 gigabytes, the other one's around 600 megabytes. Um, these are all zip files, they are no longer seven zip files. And what we can do now, instead of installing them one by one, we can grab all of those files. So. Let's head to the place that we saved them. Uh, I'm going to head to our base install and I'm going to grab all four parts. And I'm going to click import VDB pack. And this will now bring up a progress bar to show you roughly how long is left. And this is the full process. So all four packs that it's installing. And this is the estimated time. Um, and this bottom bar is telling you how far it is through its first, uh, the first zip file that it's working on. So part four of this pack uh, and it will explain to you what files it's unzipping so it's working its way through so you see 47 48 49 50 these are the actual vdb files that it's working on at the minute and it's going to be installing them in the default location that was already set um, once this is finished i'm going to pause the video and come back to you once this has finished there we go that's now installed i think that took roughly seven minutes um and as we can see here we've now got some vdbs uh showing in our thing of the side um there we go so once we've installed the first pack um there are a couple of things that we can do um we can have a look at setting up a brand new category and that category we're going to set up as all and once we've done that we can just quickly refresh this and for airburst we're going to set you in all we're going to put the explosion in all we're going to put debris in all and we're going to do this for all of these first ones and the reason we're doing this is just so you guys can get an understanding of how to edit um, where you want your vdbs to show so we've set this library up in the way that we have um, but it is totally user adjustable um, we don't need you to stick to the name and conventions and things that we've set up um, you can put them in any of the directories that you want so now we can head to the all and we can see all of our vdbs there um, another thing that we can do is we can go down here um, and oh, check what packs we have installed. So if you've purchased like the VDB Plus variant um, or you've purchased any of the additional packs, all of them have been updated now using this new pack system. So you'll be able to see what packs you've got installed and know what packs you need to install. Uh, inside those packs, it'll show you what files are in each one and what categories and what materials. The next thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to set a new path because I only have a small hard drive on this little Mac. So I am going to go and set a brand new path up. Uh, so let's go to uh, true VDB um, files. And once we've created the folder that we want our stuff to go into, we just head into that folder, click accept. A little progress bar will appear as it starts to migrate everything over. And this should only take a second or two um, with the first with the first pack installed. Um, it's taking a little bit longer here just because you know we're not running like a twelfth gen Intel supercomputer chip 
Um, not to say that the M1 chip is not fast. It is surprisingly good. Um, but now that we've done that, um, what we can do now is we can install any of the other packs. So I'm just going to grab a pack to install and uh, select all of them again. Click import. And the cool thing now is that we can leave this to do what it's doing and continue to work inside of the blend file that we've got, even with the VDBs. So we can uh, we can get it to import the VDB. Um, and let's go and add you to the top of this. And now we can see how the VDBs are working. Um, I'm not going to run into too many details here, but the material settings for each VDB are here. Please make sure that you have the VDB itself selected. If you select something else and then go back to the base, um, you can check the VDB sort of settings there too. But if you have something else selected, none of this will work. Um, we also have some render presets, and this will help speed up the rendering. Um, as we can see on just a little little Mac, little Mac which I'm a jigger here. Uh, little m1 mac mini uh not with a lot of horsepower and we seem to be doing pretty good in terms of render speeds um there we go with the fast preset the fast preset is obviously the fastest preset that we've set up um and if you use something like the optimal this one is the best between speed and quality um and then we have medium so this is a medium quality and then we have high um, high quality and the high quality will provide the best rendered image uh, most detail most accurate lighting but as you can see it is quite slow um, especially on this little cpu but if we stick it on something like fast or optimal see so we're getting some decent render times uh, and we're getting a good quality little sort of thing going on here and we can still skip through the timeline on either of these presets. Um, and once, like I say, your pack has installed, um, you don't need to restart or anything like that. The pack will just install and it will install. Um, you can leave the instance of Blender open and continue to work in it. Um, once the pack's installed, all the new categories will appear. Um, we can see that magic category has appeared and all of the icons are just waiting to be pulled in. And once it's done that, you can start to use them straight away. You don't need to restart Blender or anything like that. Um, so that's all we have to say on that one, guys. Um, we will look to do some more tutorials in the near future. Um, if anyone's got any requests for tutorials or scenes or anything that they want us to do, please leave a comment down below. Uh, and if you're not already, give us a like and subscribe if you liked it and would like to hear more. You can give us a thumbs down if you didn't like it and don't subscribe if you don't like my voice. Um, there we go, guys. I will see you, I guess, in the next one.